weekday host on Boom 97.3, Mae Potts, and the executive director of CBC Radio and last year's Rosalie recipient, Susan Margetti. Well, it's great to be here representing the Radio Trailblazers and the Rosalie Award. Its namesake, Rosalie Tremblay, was the first recipient while at CKLW, the Big Eight, in Detroit, Windsor in the 60s and 70s. She was perhaps the most influential programmer in North America. To give you a bit of insight about the Radio Trailblazers, you can take a look at this. The Radio Trailblazers was created to advocate women's presence and voices in Canadian radio. We're a volunteer organization that celebrate and support women in radio through education, inspiration, and mentorship. We realize our mandate through key initiatives, the Rosalie Cocktail Reception, and the presentation of the Rosalie Award at a gala event to a woman in radio broadcast who has made outstanding achievements in her field and inspired others to follow. Leading with the exclusive reception, the recipient of the Rosalie Award is introduced to the radio industry and friends. The event is a unique celebration of Canadian women in radio where guests network with broadcasters and enjoy the night's presentations. The Rosalie Award honors women trailblazers in Canadian radio and was named after our first recipient, Rosalie Tremblay, an icon and legend in radio broadcast. Who is Rosalie Tremblay? Well, I found out that Rosalie put together the soundtrack of my youth. She chose the music that so many radio stations played. She knew the hits. She took time to sit down and talk to established artists like Elton John and convinced him that Benny and the Jets was a hit. I'm very proud to be a recipient of the Rosalie Tremblay Award. Radio Trailblazers is committed to supporting and building relationships with leaders and newcomers in the industry and those aiming to pursue a career in radio. This Rosalie Award is possible in great part to Marketron and to all our sponsors, Slate Music, Numeris, and Direct Media Sales. Thank you very much. To introduce this year's award winner standing beside me, is last year's recipient, Susan Marchetti. Susan runs the CBC Radio Network. She was named the Executive Director of CBC Radio and Audio in 2015, but she is perhaps best known for her years leading CBC Radio locally here in Toronto, taking Metro Morning to number one by better connecting and reflecting the diversity of Canada's largest city. Thank you, May. Hi everyone, it is an honor to stand here on this stage again and I am thrilled to pass the Rosalie Award on now. We are passing the baton to Maureen Holloway. <laughs> Maureen has been at CHFI since 2017. Before that, she spent 15 years at Q107 and 15 years prior to that at Standard Broadcasting. Her life, her whole life, is that of a trailblazer. Maureen told me if she's learned anything, it is to speak up and never give in to fear. She has bravely battled cancer, and she will tell you firsthand about the grace, the warmth, and the humor that she encountered on that journey. And through it all, she has never lost her sense of humor. She says laughing is one of the things that she loves most about her morning crew at CHFI, and she has won awards for her comedy. Maureen continues to give back to the community. She understands that each one of us can make a difference. Her love of radio, it runs deep. It's that intimate, immediate, and direct connection with audiences that appeals to her most, and I love this. I asked Maureen about being this year's trailblazer, and you know what she said? Maureen said, every woman is a trailblazer. Each of us, in our own way, has had to blaze new trails. Amazing. This is a little bit of her journey. 
I think the reason people love Maureen on the radio is because who she is on the radio is who she is off the radio. She is a strong, funny woman that dominates in an industry that has traditionally uh, celebrated angry men. Her ability to connect with people, I think, is, is, is incredible. When you talk to her one-on-one, -on -one, she is present. She genuinely cares what you have to say. She's confident. She knows she's great at what she does. She really is a dream partner to have in a job like this. She's always effortlessly been the cool mom. I think we can both say that, that our moms, which is pretty unique, is probably one of our best friends. The one thing you notice about Mo first thing off is her laugh. It's the, the best laugh in the world. Her laugh is infectious. And uh, infectious? What am I saying? She definitely uh, has a positive outlook on life. She has gone out of her way uh, so many times to promote the, the ride to conquer cancer. Anytime my mom has seen like an obstacle, she's wanted to overcome it. I am so proud of you for this wonderful award. Congratulations, uh, so unbelievably well deserved. Before I knew you personally, I loved you on the radio. Now that I know you personally, I just love you as a human being and love you as a teammate. To listen to you on air is like listening to magic. Thank you for being an inspiration to so many women, so many listeners, so many people across the GTA and across Canada for so many years. I'm thankful for the 18 months we've had together so far, only 18 months, but hopefully we have many, many more great years together. I only wish I could be around 30 years from now when another trailblazing woman will be winning the Mo Award. I want to thank you for all you've done for the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation. I just want to say congratulations to you, Mo. You are an inspiration to all of us ladies. You just continue to amaze me. You are the light of our lives when we're supposed to be the light of yours. I'm so glad to call you my friend, and I really love you so much. Rosalie Tremblay Award winner, Maureen Holloway! Love you. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this year's Rosalie Award winner, here she is, Maureen Holloway. So much. Thank you to Susan and, and to May and to all the radio trailblazers. It really is an honor to, uh, to join you and, you know, put the broad back in broadcasting. <laughs> Not that it was ever really in broadcasting, but maybe it will be one day. Uh, these are interesting times to be a woman, and in the spirit of the current mood, I'd uh, like to acknowledge every man in this room who has not hit on me, terrorized me, led me on under false pretenses, tried to fire me, objectify me, resent me, or bully me while I do this job that I love so much, which is most of you. Not all, but most of you. I was tempted to say, lock the doors, we're gonna do a red wedding here, but. I want to acknowledge some deeply wonderful, talented, and generous people here tonight, like Gary Slade, who I just saw backstage. Gary was my program director, one of my very first, and he was the first person to say, yeah, maybe you can do something other than traffic. And here I am. Not that there's anything wrong with traffic, but he saw beyond that. I'm also so happy to see my pals, Terry DeMonte and Blair Bartram here tonight. I've worked with them, friends with them. Maybe we'll work together again. Somebody hire Blair Bartram. You should be lining up to do this. One of the most talented program directors, brand managers in the country. I'd also like to thank the women in the room. First of all, just for being here. As, uh, as Susan said, I do believe that every woman here is a trailblazer. God knows how we got here. God knows why we wanted to get here. But here we are. It's been a strange trip. But uh, we love it. We really do, otherwise we'd be out of our minds. I would not be here right now if it wasn't for Julie Adam, who as far as I'm concerned should be the boss of all of us. Because nobody loves radio more and nobody is better at running it, promoting it, and keeping it relevant. So Julie, I love you so much.
I also want to shout out to Wendy Duff, our brand director, Julie James, music director of the year, Major Market. And also my one-time general manager, Suzanne Carpenter. These are the very few women that I've worked for and with in this business, and I love it, but watch out. I met some of these bright young lights coming up on Tuesday, and uh, they are so worthy, and they're not afraid to be heard. So it's a very bright future for women in this medium. To my crew at CHFI, Christine, Ian, and Gordon, and of course my radio partner, Darren B. Lamb, who knew you could have so much fun before nine in the morning? I am blessed to see you every day, and I've never been happier in my life. I hope we're approaching a time when there's no need to celebrate our achievements according to gender. But in the meantime, and time can be mean, I'm gonna take it. I'll also take equal pay for equal work if anybody's handing that out. There is one man to whom I'm especially indebted. I want to thank my husband, John, for hitting on me for 30 years with my clear and ongoing consent, especially on, you know, Fridays and birthdays. It's Thursday. I love you all. It's a privilege to be with you tonight. Thank you so much.